Oakland's mayor plans to answer a lot of questions tomorrow on her decision to place the police chief on leave. It comes after a report that criticized the chief for failing to hold a sergeant accountable for misconduct. Dahlin looks at how all of this turmoil and the force is affecting a city plagued by violence. Many families say they just want to make sure their parks don't get overrun by homeless encampments. They want clean and safe streets. Many people say the latest drama at the police department takes the city away from focusing on the basics. I've been on the council for 10 years. I've seen 10, 11 police chiefs leave Oakland get fired and then I got to pay for their compensation. Some people inside and outside of the police department question if Chief Laron Armstrong is gone for good after city leaders placed him on leave. It certainly doesn't uh, uh, create any optimism or any motivation for the chief to stay. A report says Chief Armstrong failed to hold the sergeant accountable. Authorities say the sergeant was involved in a hit and run collision of a parked car. That sergeant reportedly also fired a gun in an elevator at the police department. We make, make mistakes once in a while. And uh, I, I hope he stays in Oakland as the police chief. The Oakland Police Department has been under federal oversight for 20 years. That oversight was set to end in May. Now authorities say it'll likely be extended. So the attorneys make money and the monitor makes money and the taxpayer cannot afford to hire a police officer. We've been knowing each other since we were kids. Pastor Billy Dixon at Thigh Ward Christian Center also supports the chief. Do I hope that my Chief stays, I hope he stays because I believe he has more to offer than to lose. He's known Chief Armstrong for decades. He's also worked with him from a professional standpoint on Operation Ceasefire, the city's crime fighting strategic plan. Somebody that we worked with since he was a sergeant, worked with him as a lieutenant, worked with him as a captain, has never been in any trouble. He says Chief Armstrong is more than just well liked in the community. He's effective in reducing crime. He says this latest incident won't hurt their efforts to stop gun violence. No one man stops the progress of what's going towards Oakland. Oakland's new mayor, Shang Tao, was flying back from a work conference in Washington, D.C. today. I'll be interviewing her tomorrow morning to talk about how she plans to move forward with Chief Armstrong. Dahl, thank you. In addition to Oakland's mayor and city administrator, the police commission has the power to fire the chief. In a statement today, it said Armstrong's sidelining is not a disciplinary action. All right, Oakland has had a revolving door of police officers. We've had 11 over the past 21 years. Armstrong was appointed by former mayor Libby Schaff after Ann Kirkpatrick was fired in February of 2021. A jury found last year she was wrongfully terminated for whistleblowing. An assistant chief, Darren Allison will serve as acting police chief for the second time. He led the department for about two weeks in 2020.